Hey guys, what's up and welcome. It's Matthew here, the designer and developer, the greatest, the hybrid, the best of both worlds from South Africa. Let's continue with our course. In this course, we want to look at um, Next.js routing. Basically, we want to know how is the user going to navigate the entire system, okay? It's not as easy as maybe drawing uh, a user flow or we are going to move from this step to another. Remember, we said we want to create an enterprise code. So a careful planning, it's very important so that when you get into code, we might not get lost, okay? So what I'm going to talk about first, it's um, Next.js routing, okay? Because I'm also teaching you the fundamentals of Next.js, okay? So let's talk about Next routing. Specifically, it's an app router, okay? It's an app router, not a page router, okay? Um, what is routing okay or what is involved in routing okay if you look at your browser you will have um this part here okay for url the url stays here this is where you type www.google.co.za okay in um in any application okay there is something called routing specifically the web application okay so um let's say there are different paths that you might go to from clicking a certain icon okay um, usually this is done by an anchor tag in html which will use an href and then here there will be um let's say um, robo assuming that this application is robo forward slash login Okay, and then this will be log in. Okay, and then we close the anchor tag. Excuse my writing. So maybe here this will be the login. So when you click here, automatically you are taken to let's say this uh, path. Okay, this file which is log in. Okay, so this is the routing mechanism. It's how the user will navigate. Let's say when I get into the app, this is the menu. When the user click one of these uh, list item this will take them to this and this will take them to this and that is routing so what i want to to uh, bring to your attention is that when we talk of routing we always include the url okay uh, the url which is this part okay meaning that we are going to go to robo in our case log in and also we are going to get to robo register Okay, for instance, okay, so um, this this name Robo is just a name, okay, just an, uh, a random name, okay, so as you can see, so we cannot talk about routing without mentioning this, okay, cool, and then um, if you look at this, okay, we are going to use the same template, okay, we are going to have, let's say, login screen, looking exactly like this, I'm just going to draw a wireframe here, nothing fancy, okay, this is for login, okay? The robot will always be here. Okay, let's say this is LG, login, okay? Looking at this, we might have a button login here, which will have this path, this one, and we might have register. Let's say this is the layout of register. I just want to show you that the layout will be exactly the same, okay? The robot will be here, and then here we are going to have register. Okay, what's common between these screens? We have this icon and we have this navigation item. We've got the robot and then we've got this container. And what might change is this content. Okay, this content will be different and this content will be different. Um, if you look at it, we have the same layout here. So based on this href, we can treat these as page one and page two what does that mean we are going to repeat this and this we are going to repeat these and these we are going to repeat the design of this container and the design of this container meaning that when you click on login here it's going to take you to this page and when you click on register it's going to take you to this page okay next as um, has got a better way for that for doing that okay 
a way whereby we are going to take the common parts in here i'm going to um draw these maybe in a green color or let me just use a different color which is blue okay this part is common okay this part is common um this part is common okay this part is common uh let me just um in terms of the robot um let me just draw it like this my apologies about that let me just draw an image like this Okay, this symbolizes the image. The container, okay, is the same. Um, the heading, where is the heading? Let's, as you can see here, log into your account. It says welcome. This is going to be log in. Okay, let's say, or let's do it exactly as it is. Okay, we will change some few things. So now let's just say that the content inside this is starting to be different. So Next.js next, next helps us to work smarter. Next.js can take this blue component as a layout, okay, which means always available or always in display. Let's just say, um, let's say always rendered okay i'm just uh, trying to look for the exact term here call me let me just say always there okay let's not complicate things okay this will always be there as you can see guys even if we are on register the only part that will change is this one okay this is the only part that will change okay let's see are we live are we recording because sometimes i forget to record it looks like what but okay thank you so much for that so this is the layout so next year can help us to put this layout in all the routes okay such that we can only change this part as you can see we are starting to think about the enterprise code okay making sure that in our planning we are eliminating um redundancy okay cool so how does Next.js does that? Okay, so Next.js has got a file-based routing. File-based routing mechanism or system. Okay, well, as much as this is called by Next.js a file-based routing, I call this a folder-based routing. It's easier for me. It makes sense this way. What do I mean by that? Okay, as you can see, um, here we've got a layout. Okay, one layout, and we've got let's say um different views. Okay, this is one layout, and this is view one. And maybe we might have a view two. Okay, it will be different. So um, Next.js has got files and folders in its own structure, which is the first folder, its app. Okay, this is the parent folder. And then um, Next.js routing, it's arranged in this manner. Let's go to the first method, which is the one of using the anchor tag with href, where we treat these as pages, as full pages, just like the old way in which we used to write HTML and CSS or a web page. So this means that this is a page, okay? So if we are treating this as our own way as page one and page two, this is how we were going to do it. Remember, this is login and this is register. So on Next.js, we are going to achieve that by having a folder which is login, okay? Um, in the same um, structure or in the same level, and we are going to have let me put it in the same level like this okay and we are going to have register okay cool with next.js you can just have these folders and think that when you are routing to um let's say localhost 3000 forward slash login you are going to display something because your folders are empty next.js insist that okay you don't only have this folder, okay, 
but inside this folder you must have specific files these files are important okay number one you must have a file um can't i put this in okay 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 what am i going to delete because i need more space okay for now let's continue you must have a file called page okay let me even use small letter uh, why it looks like i can't use a small letter okay in our case this is going to be dot tsx because we are using typescript now if you've got this 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 um path becomes routable okay meaning that you can go to log in and log in is going to display any content that is inside this page okay that means you can reach this do you see that next js reinforces that you must have page okay cool next js it's very smart okay um let me just continue with this one even if we want to go to forward slash register okay forward slash register okay ah uh, sorry inside um the folder register inside the folder you must also have page.tsx okay meaning that you can also get into forward slash register okay you can also get to port 3000 forward slash register okay what are you going to display there when you are there you are going to display this folder register okay cool meaning that uh, sorry this page so this page register has got um the robot it has got uh, this menu it has got this container also the register it has got the robot it has got this menu the container okay what if maybe the menu changed it will mean we have to update the menu on the robot and we've got to update the menu on the register as you can see there is redundancy here next.js is very smart okay i think i will need to copy this and create a new page let's try to do this um, copy this and let's create a new page okay mm. so next.js is very smart okay next.js has got an app here okay they've got uh, an app folder okay in this app folder remember there is some sort of um, an overall container here okay an overall container here before we have reg okay let's say log in as a folder and log in inside log in we've got page let me just type pg.tsx and we've got to register there's a folder inside register there is um pg.tsx okay you can get this content here and you can this content here these folders are routable okay you can click forward slash login and get this page forward slash um, uh, register you can get this but next.js is very smart okay inside here okay as you can see let me put it this way um let me put it this way okay when you go to local host port 3000 forward slash login the login is this folder remember um they call this a file based routing and i prefer to call it a folder based routing because this is the name of the folder so that means you are going to a specific folder and you will get a certain page that will be rendered so the page um the files necessarily they don't determine the, the routing okay it's the folders that determine the routing for instance if i'm saying here fall forward slash login which is a folder i'm going to be taken to a different place if i'm saying forward slash register i'm going to be taken to a certain place so i prefer to call this folder based routing because it's the folders that makes a difference not the files the files themselves they are always the same this page tts page um dot tsx it's exactly the same as page.tsx that's my two cents okay i call this folder based routing so let's continue now next.js is very smart okay next.js has um a, let, let me ask uh, you this question 
if we are saying forward slash login um let me just do it like this uh, okay we are saying forward slash login at the same time we've got local host port 3000 forward slash register okay what if we want to go to local host 3000 only what are we going to reach where are we going to land next js says that okay if you get into this outer container okay which is just on app okay you might have another page.tsx here uh, page.tsx okay this page.tsx will be responsible for this as home okay as you can see guys so this is the home, okay? You use this page or TSX right on app. This is home. As soon as you say for slash login, you go here. For slash register, you go here. Next.js will take it further. Next.js insists that you have in your own, um, okay, in your own app folder, okay, you must have um, a layout file. Okay. .tsx. This file is very important. Okay. What is this file for? Okay. This file, anything that you put in here, will be available to all the routes. So this layout is responsible for putting all the code that will be available inside this route. Okay, let's say we decide inside this layout, uh, when it comes to code, I will show you how does this work, okay? So inside this layout, we decide to put our robot guy, okay? We decide to put our icon with our menus. We decide to put a container. And then we decide to open a room for children. Okay, the children, it's everything that is going to be dynamic. It will be injected only here. Meaning that now by doing this, when you go to log in, okay, the green container, this this one, let me um let me just use a different color. My apologies about that. What color can you use? Let me use gray. Okay, let's say this is a gray container, a gray layout, okay. Now, when you go to log in, okay, when you go to log in, you are going to have the gray container, okay, here, you are going to have log in as children, everything that is inside log in, okay, meaning that this will be displayed as is, and then, the content which is here, you are going to substitute this with this content. What if you are going to uh, register, okay? The same container, gray container will be here. And at the same time, with this, as a child, you are going to substitute the reg, the reg page, which is this page. Now, as you can see, Next.js is starting to help us to be smarter, okay, to um, to be efficient, okay, because we can have one layout, which is this one. It will have all the things that remain the same, including these guys here, okay, including these guys here. What will change? It's only the content here. So now um, we've got this page. Now my, somebody might ask, what will be inside this page, okay? I'm not going to get into details into it, but I'm just going to show you some example. Here in this page, we will have conditional rendering. Okay. Conditional rendering. Okay. Excuse my writing. Conditional rendering. This means that we will render login or register depending on is login okay 
one thing that you need to know about programming we've got some very funny names okay <laughs> names which feels like questioning somebody is log in yes we want to question and we want to know are you log in if log in is true we will render um the dashboard that means if log in is true then you can go to the dashboard if log in is false then that means you will go to the login you will have to log in okay in case you might want to register that will depend on the login page you can click register or in our case on the layout we will have register here okay so you you've got an idea of what will happen on the home page okay we will import this page now remember it's no longer some sort of a page as if it contains everything it's only this content okay the layout will stay the same, but we will just put here in case this is true. Uh, sorry, in case this is, uh, sorry, sorry, let me, I'm just uh, lost now. Let's see. Is login is equal to false? Then we are going to put this content, okay? Is login is equal to false? If um is login is equal to true, that means login is equal to true, that means you are supposed to go to the dashboard. As you can see, the dashboard is a new page let's say it's not governed by this layout okay it's not governed by this layout it has got its own layout meaning that where are we going to put it here if it has got its own layout okay um let's see let's see let's see let's see let's see okay let's see this green one this green layout it's a layout for all of these guys for everyone meaning that if we might have dashboard here this layout will be part of that dashboard okay let's let's include uh let's now jump to another next.js beautiful concept which is a uh, group routing okay um i think it's group routing meaning that it's helping us to sort our routing in such a way that for instance okay if you look at register and log in they belong um to a certain group which we can maybe we can call it let's say authentication okay uh auth okay i hope this is the right spelling okay this is um authentication okay and then um the other pages which is like your dashboard and other things let's say they belong we can say um to the actual app okay the naming here guys is not important or you can say this is the root of your project so meaning that now we need to have route groups okay why simple because we want to distribute the layout accordingly okay this layout as much as it works here on the page okay but it looks like it's not supposed to be here it needs to be very local because it needs to control it needs to control only the auth group okay which is let's say this layout needs to be here so that it can govern login and register this makes sense when you get into here you will only govern login and register if you get into the app router we will find um another layout for dashboard okay another layout for dashboard it will only govern dashboard and let's say dashboard users statistics and more so as you can see here this was the best but obviously we didn't think far here okay we were only thinking of this okay now that we are thinking outside the box we need to rearrange the structure in such a way that it allows this okay so let's just um continue to talk about that so now our structure is going to look like this we've got an app here okay um we've got the page um let's see we've got the page dot tsx that will act as home we've got the layout dot tsx that will be lay a layout for everything okay at the moment um we are going to leave this empty let's say okay and then what we want to do 
we want to create route groups okay how are we going to create route groups let's say we've got um, the auth here okay authentication here this is a group how how do you show a route group um, you show a route group by putting this folder this is a folder guys you put this folder into um inside parentheses inside the brackets okay and this auth group will have still another folder which is going to be the login it's like we will copy and paste this folder login inside this login we will have um, a page.tsx and then inside here the same we will have register inside register we will have page.tsx um, excuse my writing and then as a controlling layout we need to have a layout inside this folder the layout that we spoke about with the gray container okay as you saw on the previous line and then now this works perfectly okay simply because um this route group okay controls all of these the login and the register okay the, it has got a common layout and then we are going to have let's call this root okay which is the actual root of our application let me type this here this is a route group as well um i apologize about that let me be consistent this means that we are going to have dashboard okay dot um this is a folder and then inside this folder we have got page dot tsx okay and so forth we're not going to do much on this one however even this one we are going to have some sort of um a layout that control all of these guys okay a layout how might this layout looks like it might looks like this and i think you are familiar with this you have seen it on my own application this is a logo this is the settings and then these are the menu items and then we've got a heading here if you are on dashboard which is home there will be a heading here um how do i write a heading in terms of the frame okay Okay, maybe with a small description here and here this will be reserved for children okay my, excuse my writing so if you are on home there will be home here and there will be all the children from home if you've got users here there will be users here as a text and all these so as you can see this is going to be this okay so now let's talk about route groups um, in conjunction with uh, or as they apply to the path in the on the browser. Okay, route groups in Next.js they are invisible on this path. Okay, you really don't see them here. Okay, that's the first thing you need to know. So we are not going to say here localhost three thousand forward slash auth forward slash login. No, these guys they don't like they are invisible okay you just going to say log in next js will know that because this this login is under this group it must be governed by this layout so it's 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 such a beautiful way of arranging your code nice and neat as you can see okay so if you want to register you can sub for slash register next is will know that register is governed by this layout so this layout must be there before the content what if maybe you say forward slash dashboard next is will know that um this dashboard page is being governed by this layout and it's going to take this layout so let's just summarize and see what we have done so far okay um we have managed to to talk about um the layout okay and also guys please don't forget if you might um want to contact me you can just click here a discovery call okay um and also we've got a course here on udemy this is our course i've got also another channel where i teach you the 
tips and tricks and advanced skills on how to create awesome user interfaces okay so back to where we were so as you can see um, now we understand the route groups we understand the layouts and what they are what they are for and what they are used for okay we understand those and also we understand how these um route groups um behave okay they are not available um here on your on your path okay um i think um that is it for me if you've got any question or you want uh the source code please don't forget to uh this is not what i want okay uh please don't forget to check the link in the description you will you have to subscribe to my Substack, and then you will get um an email automatically that will give you all the links and source code i hope you have enjoyed uh, this course if you do you like content like this one please guys don't forget to subscribe it helps me and the channel to grow see you on the next one